Northrop Grumman has a history of naming its resupply spacecraft after notable people in the aerospace community. And the Cygnus is no different, bearing the moniker the SS Pierce Sellers. Pierce Sellers, near and dear to our hearts here at NASA's Johnson Space Center, as he was a member of our NASA Astronaut Corps here in Houston. Uh, he was selected to become an astronaut in 1996 and would go on to serve three spaceflight missions, STS-112, STS-21, and STS-132. Sellers logged a total of 34 days, 23 hours in space. 41 of those hours were spent spacewalking, with many spacewalks having the goal of space station assembly. His career then took him to NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, where he led the Earth Sciences Division, continuing his work as a climate scientist. Cygnus is now about 750 meters away from the International Space Station as it flies over Western Australia. And we just got confirmation that the vehicle has moved through the space station's approach ellipsoid. Uh, this is the same screen that Rajatari and Kayla Barron, our NASA astronauts, uh, working today's operation. Uh, this is what they're looking at as they look at the approaching Cygnus vehicle. What you see in the green and black overlays is the telemetry data in real time. They'll use these tools to use the joystick and hand controls to guide the arm to capture Cygnus. If you look at the right side of the screen, it says uh, VV to ISS with some numbers below it. Um, this stands for Visiting Vehicle to the International Space Station and notes the distance Cygnus is away from the station. You can see right now that it's uh, 254 meters away and steadily decreasing as it approaches the 250 meter hold. Just got confirmation that at 197 meters away from the space station, Cygnus is inside the 200-meter keep-up sphere. Crew now has authority to issue an abort if no calm with MCCH and the light is outside the corridor. The SS Pierce Sellers that you see on your screen now will be the first Cygnus vehicle to have the capability to reboost the space station. Using its available remaining propellant, Cygnus will perform a number of reboost burns during its time on the space station.
Houston on two. Confirm capture point hold for step eight in one decimal one zero two. Station copies, perform step eight of one decimal one zero two. Houston Station, capture conditions confirmed and crew ready for sickness capture. Stand by for capture. Station Houston on two, go for Cygnus capture sequence, step four in one decimal one one zero, Cygnus capture. Begin monitoring the back away cue card. Station copies, go for capture sequence, back away cue card applies. We're continuing to close in. The snares are at work here on the robotic arm of Canada Arm 2. And we have confirmed capture of Northrop Grumman's 17th commercial resupply mission at 3.44 a.m. Central Time as the space station and the SS Pierce Cellars Cygnus are flying over the Indian Ocean.